Welcome back to the studio everybody. Today I've got a brand new Wii knife to talk about that's throwing off some Elementum vibes. So, we've got some premium materials on this new knife called the Sakshi. Come on in and take a close look. All right guys, take a look at this knife with me. This is the Sakshi. It's the new Wii designed Wii knife. And like I mentioned, it's throwing off some Elementum vibes, although it is not part of the Elementum family. Um, the reason I mention that is because we've got uh, a similar look on the, the handle, um, a drop point blade like the Elementum. I'm just going to throw one up here so that you can see that comparison there. Um, which I think is really exciting because there's been a lot of people that are, that are always asking for an Elementum in premium materials. Now again, this isn't exactly that, but um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help uh, satisfy some of those guys that are looking for something similar. Um, what we've got here is a 20 CV blade steel and a very, very ergonomic, very simple handle shape. So as far as deployment methods go, we've got the flipper tab on the back. Um, it's running on the caged ceramic ball bearings, giving it a really nice action. Um, you can middle finger flick it as well. Um, we're getting a little bit of purchase on that nail nick there. We've got titanium hardware all the way around this guy. Um, screws, pivots, um, pocket clip, and all that good stuff, spacers and all that. And uh, liners are titanium as well. We're gonna have four different versions of this thing. We've got a wood with a black stone washed blade. We've got the natural G10 with the gray stone washed blade. We have uh, a two carbon fiber versions. One with the black stone washed blade and blue anodized titanium liners. And uh, it gives it a really nice, uh, really nice look with that contrast there. And then uh, actually probably my favorite is the marbled carbon fiber with the gray blade right here and the gray titanium liners in there. We've got a titanium pocket clip, deep carry pocket clip with recessed screws. You can see that we've got a lanyard post in here where you can attach a lanyard if you want to. And that's uh, again, my favorite way to do that where they just hide that in there um, in between the, the spacers there. You can see you can get a good full fing four finger grip on this knife. As I mentioned, it's just a little bit larger than the Elementum. Um, for those of you who are super familiar with our best selling Civivi model. Looking at the specs, we've got an overall length on the Sakshi of 7.59 inches. Okay, we've got a blade length of 3.3 inches and a closed length of 4.29 inches. We've got a full flat grind on this blade. The, the uh, blade thickness is 0.13 inches and the handle thickness is 0.53 inches. The weight varies uh, a little bit between the models. The wood version is the lightest. That comes in at 2.98 ounces. And then the heaviest is the natural G10. That's 3.22 ounces with the carbon fiber coming in at 3.07 ounces. So one thing that you're going to notice when you pick this knife up and get it in your hand is that it is extremely comfortable. Those contoured handles um, are, with that uh, half inch thickness really work well in your hand, making this a really, really usable knife. Very, very comfortable very minimalistic in design and style. And we've got a few different price points depending on the version that you pick up. The natural G10 is going to be right around $157, uh, MS, or, uh, not MSRP, but uh, retail price. MSRP is uh, about 15% more than that. We've got the Kui Borsha wood, which is gonna be just a few dollars more, right around $161 at your retail price. And then the carbon fiber version has an MSRP of $215. Um, you'll see that in retail for about $181. So thanks for watching everybody. And make sure you check out the other videos that we just uploaded over on the Civivi channel. We truly appreciate your support and come back and see us for the next video.